How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going back on a job where Trevor went out and diagnosed a bad condenser motor. So he went out there originally to do an inspection. We were checking everything out and then he found that condenser motor to be over amping. So what I did is I ordered that motor and now we're going to go back today and get it swapped out and check everything out. Let's do some work. All right, so like I said before, uh, Trevor was out here to do an inspection and we found the condenser motor to be over amping. So he sent me the model serial number. I uh, just quickly went onto the Blue On app and got availability of that part, got that put on order. We went and picked that up and now we're here to get it swapped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and get this whole top removed and start removing this old motor. But first we need to make sure the power is turned off. All right, so what I like to do before removing the actual motor from the top plate, the housing or whatever, I wanna go ahead and remove the fan blade first because with it being on something much bigger, it's gonna help me keep everything in place while I go to remove this fan blade. Sometimes they come off super easy and it's not that big of a deal, um, but there are some times as well that it's super hard and you have to get a puller and all of that. Uh, this unit's not super old, doesn't have a lot of rust or anything. So I don't think I'm gonna need any kind of penetrant or, um, or have to uh, get a puller or anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen this set screw and just try to wiggle it off the way it is. But what we wanna do, look, it just went down all by itself actually. What I, what I was gonna say to do before I actually did that, it's good to mark it on the shaft. So that way when we put the new motor down, um, we know exactly where that blade was and we don't have to try to remember and guess at it. So what I'm gonna do now is I can see, I can see where it was because of where it's nice and clean here. But I'm just gonna take my knife and just scribe a little, a little mark here so that way I know it can't be rubbed off. That way I can reference that whenever I put the new motor in. But that's pretty, pretty easy to take off right there. So sometimes what you can do is, is, is wiggle the uh, fan blade as well. You could also put a crescent wrench right here on this flat side underneath to hold it still while you wiggle it off if you're having problems. But again, that came off super easy. So here's a little tip for you as well. Whenever you are about to take the motor off, wherever the leads come out and go through, obviously you have a hole here, so that kind of helps you, but sometimes you don't have that shroud. So what I like to do is give it a visual, see where the wires are coming out, um, as far as like the, the, the hood itself or the, the lid. So that way when you go to put the new motor on, you have the orientation the way it's supposed to be and it just makes your, your life a whole lot easier. All right, so once we got the old motor out, we're getting ready to put the new one in. It is very smart to verify that the new motor and the old motor, all the specs line up. So what I like to do is put them side by side, do a quick glance, voltage, amp draw, horsepower, RPM, the rotation. We did go back with an OEM motor, so it should be perfectly identical. And then also look at the physical motor itself, make sure that the, the body of it is the same length, the shaft is the same length, because if it's a little bit different, it's gonna throw off wherever your blade is attached to the shaft, so you need to account for that. But again, this is an identical motor, but we just wanna make sure 
everything is good before we go to install it. Nice and snug. All right, now that I got everything put back together, let's get the power turned on and get it tested. So the condenser motor is rated for 0.8 amps and looks like we're in good shape. Well guys, that's gonna complete today's video. I really hope you got something out of it. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, see you guys later.